lab again. All right, so take two here. This is Natalie and Carrie. We had a little internet hiccup. Um, but I'm super excited to be here and to introduce you all to Natalie. Um, Natalie and I met a few years ago through a mutual client who is near and dear to both of us. Um, and she is a hydrocolon therapist, or colon hydrotherapist, my apologies. And is really an expert on like understanding the eliminative channels and like why it is so important. And so I work in regenerative detoxification. If you don't know already, I'm a certified regenerative detox specialist, certified Arvigo Maya abdominal therapist, um, as well as a certified nutritionist. So I really work on the internal things that will help keep your bowels moving and cleaning out the gut. Um, and Natalie is a pro at the eliminative channel. So I wanna introduce her and let her kind of do her own work justice and explain here um, what she's passionate about. <clears throat> So first of all, I'm so glad that our client connected us because you're amazing, a powerhouse right here. Um, so yes, I do colon hydrotherapy. It's, it's changed my life and it's a gentle method of cleansing the colon of poisonous gas, accumulated waste and toxins. Uh, so huge believer in it because a lot of the things that we do, even when we're like shifting our diets or doing any of these cleanses, like you have to be focusing on the drainage piece pooping, sweating, moving your limb, all those things. Um, and so with Carrie being a detox specialist, like it's a huge complement to each other, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people will get colonics or get colon therapy and you know, they're not actually addressing the acute cause of the constipation. So we're actually teaming up to really help people understand what might be causing some of their increased constipation, even if they can't, even if they feel like they're eating well. So coming up, we are starting um, a regenerative superfood health reset, um, October 15th, that will end November 13th, so way before the holidays start, and it'll be a great time to actually reset your gut health so that you don't accumulate all of those toxins throughout the winter months when we're having, you know, the little parties here and there. Um, so I wanna talk just a tiny bit about glyphosate. Um, this is such a powerful topic and a much needed to be in your awareness. Um, but glyphosate is the toxic pesticide chemical that's found on pretty much all of our foods and even some organic foods are finding it just because of the way um, fields are drone sprayed and the air carries it over. And even when you walk out in like past people's yards, a lot of people are using it in their yards for breathing it in. Exactly. It's in our city parks. If you didn't see already, I'm on a petition to try to get it out of our city parks. Um, so it's sprayed on the grass. It comes into our running water. So it's in 75% of our air is contaminated with glyphosate and our running water. And it's a water soluble molecule. And this is a dangerous thing because um, you can't extract it from water. So even if you have a water filter, there's still glyphosate in that water. Um, so your water should be coming from your plants, your organic fruits, berries, melons, um, and then eating you know, citrus and greens. But glyphosate is this compound that actually forms what's called a mucoid plaque and it um, causes hypoxic injury in the gut. So this hypoxic injury means a low oxygen environment and you can see signs and symptoms that you're struggling with something like hypoxic injury or glyphosate toxicity would be rosy cheeks. Um, feeling really flush after you eat a meal or really tired, like the onset of um, a large amount of fatigue, having belly bloat, um, having sharp abdominal pain or constipation, diarrhea, headaches, nausea. Those are all signs of glyphosate toxicity and the bowels are backed up. That's a really key point too, just because even in colonics, it's insane how much mucus people are producing. And at first I always go to like, are you eating dairy? It's a heavy mucus forming food. And a lot of people have given that up because they know it's an allergen. And so that's a huge point that people don't even consider the glyphosate being the culprit. Exactly, and so that's like, the diet is great because when you take out the items that are irritating you, you stop getting like the symptoms. But when the second you have that item back in, your body flares again and the reason is is because the gut has not healed enough so the internal environment of your gut biome you actually turn over your your stomach cells every three to five days you have a brand new set of cells yeah which is awesome <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is is with glyphosate this is actually coming in and changing our dna and so we're having cells replicate broken and so this is when we get into like the Crohn's disease and some more of the neurological disorders that come from that, like MS, 
Um, Parkinson's is heavily related. Um, so the, these are not, I'm not blaming the cause on that, but there, there's a very large connection between glyphosate toxicity, autoimmune cancer, and autism. Um, we see a very large connection and a rise. So one in 6,000 children had autism in 1976, and now one in 36 children have autism. And we started spraying in late 70s, early 80s, and we spray around 4.6 billion pounds of chemical pesticides a year. So it's insane. So this cleanse that we have coming up is designed to deeply nourish your body. This is not a restrictive cleanse. We don't believe in restriction. There's no caloric restrictions, but it's about flooding your body with organic regenerative nourishment. So we're, the word regenerative means that instead of supplementing something like, say you're low on iron and giving you an iron supplement, the underlying cause of you being low on iron is actually related to the health of your adrenal glands. So when we work in regenerative health, we work at the root cause. So the reason that something is happening and we regenerate that gland or that organ so that that symptom goes away permanently. So this superfood health reset is amazing. And the reason why it's so important is Dr. Zach Bush, I highly recommend checking him out if you haven't. We both actually, as how we reconnected again, <laughs> was I was talking about Zach Bush and she was like, I love Zach Bush. Um, and he is really a triple board certified medical physician, endocrinologist, end of life hospice doctor, and also deep into research science on the toxicity of glyphosate and how it's affecting our cells. So he's really been the leader in the forefront on this movement. Um, brilliant, brilliant man. I highly recommend looking him up. But he's also um, certified the study that 1% of the Earth's soil is deemed nutrient dense. So like in America, about 1% of our soils have nutrition, which is a really staggering statistic. And the problem with that is that the basically the plants that you're eating, even if organic, the soils don't have their proper levels of amino acids or minerals or nutrients in it. So we're feeling depleted as a whole. Like overall, it's like, well, I'm eating kale and I'm eating berries, but I don't feel like there's any energy in this food. And it's because there's not. So that we're not taking proper care of our soil. We're not um, basically doing crop rotation and making sure that the soil has nourishment and minerals in it. So we are working with the highest quality superfoods. Um, this farm is in Utah where it grows, they have thousands of acres where they're growing wild grasses. Um, everything is organic. They use green manure, which means like the plants are going back into the soil um, as compost. And then they're checking the nourishment in the soil consistently. So you are flooding your body with all of your essential amino acids. You have um, amino acids every day, eight essential amino acids that help your body rebuild connective tissue, skin, energy. You're gonna notice like this is your coffee. And it's just literally all the things that your body needs to, to heal itself. I think and it's funny too to talk about when you first kind of approached me about this cleanse, mm -hmm. I, was, I wasn't quite sure and I've been doing it and I'm geeking out over how good I feel so yes we're healthy skeptics so it, it kind of helps that way I think that's why mm -hmm. um you know we do what we do you know we want to dig in and make sure we're like providing the best information to our clients and this is this is incredible this cleanse yeah yeah it was hard for both of us to bring in something else because we really are believers in whole foods and if our soils were healthy, whole foods should be good enough. And nutrient dense, like Carrie was talking about, but because of the chemical revolution, the industrial revolution, like all of our foods just have been depleted over time. So Exactly. So we're seeing um, over toxicity and undernourishment is what we're seeing collectively as a nation. And people are dealing with so many ailments. And so we have to start looking back at what's changed and what's changed is our farming practices and our food is not necessarily food anymore. So we're really excited to bring you and invite you in to join us um, on this transformation. So you're gonna flood your body with essential amino acids. Um, you're going to be drinking a sprouted superfood shake that has 96% of your micronutrient daily needs in one shake. And talk about the sprouted too, because we were talking about it prior to the call. Uh, it's because people can be afraid of mm -hmm. grains. Yeah, so there's seeds and then oats and grasses. And so grain, these grains are all sprouted, which means that when it's coming from a sprout, um, it's basically the seed is sprouted and then all of these superfoods are dried in the wind. And so it's processed and digested like a live vegetable. 
um, in your body. So I'm a grain free eater and I love the shake. I do great with it. Um, if you have, you know, if you're a little worried about that, we also have other options that are hemp and pea, but really they have adaptogenic herbs. There's tons of like spirulina and chlorella and like you would wheat not grass. think wheatgrass <laughs> juice. Um, sprouted alfalfa like the amount of nourishment you're getting in one shake is insane like you wouldn't be able to eat this many plants in a day if you tried and it tastes amazing which is odd and that's <laughs> it, that, it is odd and that's why we have to do things like this because going back to like the nutrients in our food mm -hmm. like back in the day it would be like this deep color you know our fruits and vegetables and now it's just kind of like they all look the exact same so we have to get nourishment in other yeah. ways yeah Exactly. She nailed it. Yeah, so you can see that like the tomatoes that don't have a lot of color, like they just look dead because they are. They don't have anything. They're not bringing anything up from the soil. Um, and when I would go travel to like Costa Rica and eat fruit and I would feel like amazing and then I would come home and eat fruit and I was like, why don't I have any energy? Um, and it's our soil practices here. So we're really excited to bring this to you. So it's con the con cleanse consists of amino acids, sprouted superfood shake, and then a product called Biomedic that really drew Natalie and I both in. The Biomedic is the only product on the market that's third-party tested and certified to remove 75% of glyphosate in just six weeks. And the preclinical study that was done was just with one capsule a day, and we'll be taking two to four. So you're gonna get a lot of healing done. You're gonna be removing chemical pesticides out. Um, that's basically stagnating your brain health and your bowel health. And then you're gonna start repairing the gut because it has something called lactospore. And so a lot of people are taking probiotics and prebiotics, but they're not understanding that these probiotics are sitting on a shelf in a capsule being fed by sugar. And so that's the thing too. It's like, we, we need to learn to question, like that's not a live nutrient mm -hmm. or probiotic if it can sit there on the shelf. Same with like dead food, canned, boxed foods. Exactly. Yeah. And so when it's sitting on the shelf and they have it in these capsules, they're feeding it sugar, which sugar depletes our gut biome. But then when the, we take the probiotic, it opens up and these, these bacteria are not hungry because they've been being fed sugar. So by the time you're just sweeping it out through the colon, it's not doing a whole lot. So what lactospore is, it's actually like a seed that bursts open and flowers when you digest it. And so it starts grabbing onto the glyphosate and eating up like sulfur and metals and taking things out of the gut. So you're gonna experience like a lot of deep cleaning, which is a capsule versus having to do some of the more painful deep detox work, which is like juicing and clonics and um, charcoals and clays and all of that. So, hey, back up. I know, but <laughs> clonics are great, but the charcoals and the clays and the juice fasting, not so fun. <laughs> So yeah, so this is a great solution for that. And then there's something called the Super Cleansar, which is gonna kill off any microbial or fungal overgrowth that has occurred from your gut biome getting out of balance. And then we drink this amazing cherry juice at night. It's called Apothecary. It's an organic tart sour cherry. Each serving is cold, it's cold pressed, but each serving is the equivalent of 30 cherries. It's, um, it is incredible. And I've seen my sleep, I've only been doing it for since Monday. It really is helping me sleep. Mm -hmm. And I have, didn't have problems before, but sometimes, you know, because of the full moon and different things, like it can kind of affect it, but it's an incredible part of the process. Yeah. I love it. And sleep is such an important part of healing, like in general. If you're not sleeping, that's how your body regenerates itself. So I really believe like when you're deep healing, the best way to heal is be moving your bowels and sleeping. Like that is it. Those are your ways to repair and eliminate, repair and eliminate. Um, so if you are curious about what this looks like, message us. We have an online support group. We have an app. So you'll be coming in with like pre-cleanse videos. There's going to be support, detox support, detox symptom and support. There's recipes. Um, we have a live Q&A that is actually every Wednesday at five o'clock central time. Um, I'll be live with three other of the specialists that we work with, um, all detox specialists as well. So you're getting this like beautiful container of complimentary support with your cleanse. Um, and then the um, 
second one is Sundays at 11.15. So not every Sunday, there's one Sunday I can't do it, but that's because we actually have another live class on, on gut health, so you'll be able to jump right into that. So Sundays and Wednesdays you have support. That's all complimentary part of your cleanse. Um, and we can be transparent. The cleanse is actually only 314 with Natalie's code, um, and or my code if you're following me. But, uh, but I love that too, because it's like, it's only when I was doing it, because right this time of year, fall, people are getting coffees and doing things like that, which can be like six to seven dollars. It's only what ten, eleven dollars a day. Ten fifty a day. I love that. Yeah. So it's ten dollars and fifty cents a day. So where can you cut out ten dollars and fifty cents? And it is um, filling that breakfast and lunch spot. And then you can add any fruits you want for snacking. There's no caloric restrictions, and you just have an abundant level of support. And the last one thing I like to share is the average person gains eight to 10 pounds over the holidays. And that's because of accumulation of waste. The body actually insulates with fat to store toxins. So it's not even necessarily that you're eating too much or it's a caloric overload. It's actually a toxic overload. So the body will build fat and tux, tox, tux, toxins right inside the cells. And then you start building and building and building. And that's really hard to shed those layers. So when you're going into the holiday season with clean bowels, clean cells, and alkaline body, your body is more efficient at eliminating the fun cheats and treats that you're gonna have over the holiday season, and you won't get that same experience. You you should touch on too the lymphatic system and allergies, because that's like part of it too. It's we're storing all this stuff and then all these people are getting so nasally right now. So yeah. thank you for reminding mm -hmm. me on that. Um, so yes, the health of your lymphatic system is incredibly important. So your body has trillions of cells and two fluids. You have blood and you have lymph. Your blood feeds your glands and your organs and your lymph cleans your glands and your organs. And the lymph brings waste to the kidneys and the kidneys eliminate it through the urine. So you actually should see sediment in your urine, cloudy urine. This is an important thing to see. Um, but when we get backed up or stagnated through like highly toxic foods, too many chemicals, too much protein in our diet, we start to get stagnation of the lymph system. And so when you actually look at like lymphatic fluid, it's actually 80% of your body's fluid. We're 20% blood, 80% lymph. And the lymph should be really fluid. It should be able to move, like if you think of like a pond or a swamp versus a lake or a river, right? You want yours to look like Lake Superior, not like a pond or a swamp. So when you have this environment, this swampy environment, it's basically all the cellular waste is being dumped into the lymph. The lymph is getting stagnated. And now we have allergies to everything like ragweed, cotton in the air, pet dander. All these things irritate us because our lymph literally can't take any more. It's at its fullness. So you can heal allergies, you can eliminate allergies all through cleaning out your lymphatic system. So if you don't wanna get the colds this winter, if you wanna not feel congested in the head and not sinusy, um, this is a great thing to jump into and just bringing this awareness into your life and how to eliminate and open these channels. Cool, yeah, I'm excited, yay. So chat with us Hi, if you have questions. <laughs> Um, does glyphosate play a key role in Crohn's? Um, it does. I would say, I can't say that it's scientifically proven that it does because there will be no science that will prove that what our government calls safe and legal causes a disease. Um, the Crohn's is heavily related to bowel destruction and hypoxic injury. And we know that scientifically proven that hypoxic injury does happen from glyphosate, um, which it starves the cells of oxygen. And when we actually, like Dr. Zykowicz talks about this, when he puts cells underneath um, a, like a little microscope and contaminates them or puts glyphosate in them and watches it actually, what they've learned is that it blocks what's called the shikame pathway in our body. So the shikame pathway is an essential enzyme pathway where our body is, it's our body's ability to rebuild itself, to regenerate itself. So our own self healing mechanism is being blocked and we're not producing the essential amino acids because this pathway is blocked. So now we're birthing children without the proper levels of amino acids being reproduced in their body and we're seeing our kids get weaker and weaker and weaker. And, and with that too, it takes about three generations to kind of change that up. If anyone's ever read the book Pottinger's Cats, he did tests on different cats of feeding them a really good diet, poor diet, everything like that. And he found that, yeah, it takes three to four generations to kind of tweak that out of our systems. So we need to start now. We have a lot of work to do, you guys. And um, 
I'm so passionate about this and so is Natalie and just you know what my biggest goal in life ever is just knowing that you don't have to suffer like we absolutely don't have to we can regenerate this we do have the power so we're just here sharing that with you and we're just super excited to help support you into vibrant health so if you're ready to not just start at the new year but feel amazing going into the new year um, come chat with us we'd love to support you Scott and Emma that means you guys and anyone else. yeah <laughs> Hi, Rita. <laughs> Rita is amazing. Rita Jean is my business partner, and she's a detox specialist, and she's also in Zach Bush's eight-week biology base camp. Is course. that Rita in Kauai? No, no. Rita's in Colorado. Oh. Um, but yeah, we, we are just so passionate about this. So we'll come on with Rita sometime, too, and share more about our deep passion and understanding the need for this change now, because 46% of all children struggle with chronic disease, and that sucks and is unnecessary. So let's be the change, guys. I look forward to um, supporting you all on your transformation. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't know how to turn